So my buddy Zeus and I here, we've been exploring all these trails now and all these dirt roads for a bit. So figuring out where we can where we can and cannot go with the RV uh, as far as getting stuck in it. Because it's rainy season, so a lot of these things are all muddy. And uh, I'm out here by myself. I'm not trying to get stuck because then it's going to be a little bit of a mission. I have to walk all the way back somewhere. I get cell service to get uh, someone who can pull me out. So let's just set up real quick. Let's park out at one of these campsites and then let's talk about the trailer for a bit. All right, so a lot of people ask me about the, a lot of questions about the trailer, um, you know, ever since I made that video, the initial video showing the trailer. Um, so now I'm just going to go over some of the things, and I've had the trailer now for, I think, probably a better part of a year, maybe more. There's been some things I've gone a little bit, you know, wrong on it, some things I've, and a lot of things I've stood up to the test of time so far. But so far, the trailer is doing great, and it's working out really good for our needs. I did a little bit of a, a mini off-roading right now, so it's a little dirty. Um, obviously, nothing like the real rock crawling or anything like that, but just some dirt roads and some trails and things like that. So I want to talk to you guys about the trailer. So this is a 16 by 7 foot uh, travel trailer. It's a uh, was a cargo trailer, which I converted. And we did a lot of upgrades to it, obviously. We pretty much gutted the whole thing from what it was and then started fresh. One of the things I never mentioned on the other video is that this entire trailer has a steel cage pretty much as a frame that's all around the entire trailer which it's reinforced completely and the roof is walkable so i can walk on the entire roof if i need to service serv the solar panels the ac anything of that nature i can do all of that we upgraded the suspension on it so this suspension on these tires here is a silent ride suspension so it they are kind of like independent in this little so pretty much if this tire here it goes up you know then this one here goes down etc etc right so um, it kind of helps with leveling out and, uh, and making it a little bit easier and smoother ride. So we did that. We added these boxes out here um, for storage, additional storage. I store a lot of uh, my extra gears in there that I need for the trailer and stuff like that. We did a like rhino line paint type thing uh, on the a bed liner, you know. So on the outside, the whole thing is, has a bed liner on it. Uh, I did have some parts here where it kind of chipped, which I need to repair. So I'm going to, you know, repair that whole wall there making sure that's all good again. Um, we do have some stabilizer jacks on each corner. So four corners, they all have stabilizer jacks. We added this window here to the door. So that's a, uh, a window that was not there. And also we added up here, we added up here on the front um, steps. So you can get all the way to the top and then you can go service or do whatever you need to do on the top of the trailer. We added those exterior lights, which is 360 degree lighting. You guys have seen my other videos. You guys have seen that on how it works. Um, and it really lights up the entire area. You got over here on the outside, these uh, fans, those are exhaust fans. I have it on right now. So it's constantly kicking out that heat from the outside, from the inside out. Uh, we have a cargo door on the back so I can load up, you know, any toys I want to bring with me. Bikes, dirt bikes, golf cart, like a mini golf cart, something like that. I can bring it all with me and it fits in there. Uh, we got these stabilizer jacks on the back door as well up there. Um, those are, so when the door comes down, I can use it as a deck and I'll show you guys that in a moment. Um, on this side over here, we got more doors, uh, more stat cabinets and areas where you can store all your things at. Um, and then you also have another ladder on this side to get up to the top from this area. Over here is the connection that we use for our hot water heater for the propane. So you connect the propane there and your hot water heater is ready to go. It's an on-demand hot water heater, which is, uh, this black thing you see here. It's a big one. Right above it is another vent fan. Here you have your 30 amp connection. So you can connect uh, to shore power and run the AC, run all that. Um, on the bottom down here, you got a fresh water connect, a city water connect, a black uh, wash and a gray wash for your tanks. You can wash out the tanks completely. And then another, up there, you got another vent for the uh, bathroom. So it's an exhaust for the bathroom. And now oh, you can see obviously I added a window here has obviously an AC, has a 14,000 BTU AC, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look on the inside so you guys can see. We have our little command center area. So over here we have our Renogy battery monitor so we can monitor our batteries from Renogy, make sure the solar power is all good, and the battery, how that, mount, how that level is. We have our thermostats for the fan. That one kicks on automatically at a certain temperature to exhaust the heat for the uh, lithium ion batteries that control the trailer and pretty much power the trailer for solar. Uh, we have our inverter uh, controller here switch. You just turn it on and off. We want to have the inverter on. It's a 3000 watt inverter. You have the Bluetooth monitor for the Renogy. So you can see everything in your levels uh, through Bluetooth. We have our hot water thermostat control here. So you control the temperature you want on thermostat. You can turn it on and off. Uh, we have our water tank levels for gray, black, fresh battery. You have the water pump. 
And then these switches up here are for the lights on the outside to control independently the lights to turn on the outside. You guys can see that in one of my other videos how that works. Uh, let's go on in here. So up here we have the microwave. So this will run on solar as well. You can run it perfectly fine with solar only. Uh, down here. Let me turn on these lights here. All right, so down here you have our solar controller. We have our fuse box and the Renergy 3000 watt inverter. These are all, all these doors are held with magnets um, to keep them from opening during transit. We got our mini bar down here. Um, that's pretty much just, we made it as like a pass through so let some of the air circulate get out of there. And also if we need to access the batteries, the heater, anything in the back, we have easy access to that. Um, all of this here, the countertops, the backsplash, all that stuff, it's pretty much just plywood. And then we, um, we did an epoxy seal to it. So it made a cool little design and background. Uh, this here is our kitchen. This works off the electric. So it wrote off solar panels, water cook, whatever we need. Um, we got our little cabinets over here on this side. This is where we store all our clothes and things like that for when we're going to travel. It's enough for all of us. Um, so it's cool. It's cool. Like a little dresser almost. And on this side here, we have a, this is a drawer that we use for our fridge. So this here is a magnet. I believe it's 600 pounds. When you have it on, you cannot open up. You see, you cannot open the fridge. So when you're in transit, turn it off. And then you have access to open the fridge. So what we have is one of these like chest style fridge. And it's pretty much just always on and never turns off. It's always running so that we can have it available and cold at all times. Um, when we go camping, we don't gotta worry about power on the fridge and getting it cool or any of that. Just push on and get that open. Up here we have all our cabinets. So this is like where we store all our foods, all our stuff like that. And then we got a very, very big sink right here. So this sink is huge. Um, it's bigger than our sink in our house. And right now I am, have the fresh tank. This is just running off the pump. Have some water in the fresh tank. We've got our window right here. And then back here we have the bunk bed. This is my son's, my oldest son this is where he sleeps in this bunk bed here. And then this is our like a couch bed where you can see in one of my other videos if you how we open it up and that turns into a bed as well this here is a table which pops out of the ground electronically uh, so you just hold this button right here and the table will pop up open for you and then we use some storage down there uh for to keep our camp chairs and things of that nature and this is the deck where the uh, door comes down so we have our deck on the back for the cargo door if you come on this way this is our bathroom so we have a door on it we have a window, I'm sorry, a mirror here. We put a little bag where we can store all our extra things and you know whatever we need in here. We got our toilet. And then we got this little sink that we made up. We got a sink, like a bar sink. We cut it in half pretty much. And then uh, we just made this so you can have a sink in here. Drops down and you have this. You turn it on and you can move this little thing around to wherever you want and use it just to brush your teeth, maybe wash your hands, something of that nature. And then it has a little catch right here. So you put to hold it. Uh, this area just hold our toothbrushes and our toothpaste with the switches for the lights in here. So this will kick on the exhaust as well as the lights. So you have this light here and you have some lights up there. And we have skylight as well. Uh, this is a uh, teak wood that we use on the floor as well as on the walls here. And then it's the same thing with the epoxy. We just got some plywood epoxy it. We got these brand new so to help us hold our soaps and our shampoos and all that stuff is awesome. It's from toiletries. I highly recommend this so far is held up really good and then we got our super duper fancy shower over here with our nautilus door so shut that and then let it close and it's self cleaning so yeah let me show you guys real quick what it looks like with the cargo door down and the roof how i can get up there all right so this is the trailer with the cargo door down uh, when you're sitting on the inside it looks awesome because you got a lot of space. It opens up the entire area for you. And you got this beautiful view you can look at wherever you're parked. Um, if you're parked in the ocean, a mountain, or a river, a creek, whatever it is, you'll have that beautiful sight right behind you. So I love the fact that I have that. The one thing I want to add to it is like a mosquito netting just to keep all the bugs out when it's these like very, very, very buggy areas like we are in here in South Florida. Just keep all the bugs out and to have it open. So we were hoping to do some winter camping and maybe get out there to do some primitive camp. And having that kind of stuff would just make it a lot better in here as far as airflow. 
we do got these two windows here we can completely open and help out the air circulation plus our ac and our fan and the fan that we have we can bring with us all that run on lithium so it's a great little spot to sit at and have dinner which pop up the table there put the, the chairs out and you'll be able to enjoy a great dinner or meal or whatever it may be there and you guys can see all those other things set up if you look at my one of my other videos how i did all that come here come on and let's not forget about the best part of this whole thing my buddy here zeus is always my partner zeus come here come here buddy come here buddy come here buddy come here my bud this is my buddy here this is zeus he's my mini australian shepherd he's a daddy to six puppies got his mommy and the puppies at home and he's the one accompanying to me to accompany me today on this trip all right so let's take up a walk up this ladder this ladder is uh, welded directly into that steel frame i told you guys about that we enclosed the whole trailer around so the whole thing is a uh, steel frame let's go up So as you guys can see here, I have four solar panels, the AC, and then the two skylights. Um, these solar panels are from Renogy. If I'm not mistaken, I think I have 400 watts, maybe a little bit more in solar up here. Works great, a little bit dirty, but uh, it gets the job done. We use Flex Seal to in completely enclose the whole roof and make sure that it's all watertight. But yeah, as you guys can see, it's a cargo trailer out of aluminum, and the whole roof is walkable. So it's really nice all right guys so we hope you've enjoyed this video uh with zeus and i traveling around here doing a little bit of off-roading and showing you a little bit more of the, of the rv um if you guys have any questions i know i probably miss a lot of things you guys might have questions about just feel free to leave it in the comments let me know what questions you may have and i'll try to answer them to the best of my capabilities but we're gonna go ahead and end the video here uh we'll hopefully see you guys in the next video so please make sure you like subscribe turn on a little bell notification and we'll see you in the next video guys take care